spring is one of my favorite times of the year because where it used to be brown and dead looking, now all of a sudden life is starting to pop through in all those places that seemed so hopeless before. It's just a great reminder to me of how incredible God's creation is and his uh, creating the seasons of spring and summer and winter and fall. We were out in the woods the other day behind our house, and all of a sudden I realized there was a daffodil, a whole bunch of daffodils that were living there. And I thought, what are daffodils doing out here in the middle of the woods? You know, daffodils are, there's bulbs and you have to plant them, and um, they usually are around people's yards, but they're not a, they're not a wildflower. So how in the world did a daffodil start growing here, of all places? And so then we got to thinking, well, maybe there was a house that they were digging up around and had extra dirt, and they just threw it for maybe a reconstruction of a house, like an addition or something. Maybe that's how they got here, and they just dumped the dirt in the back. We'll never know how this uh this flower, the daffodil, got started, but it really is cool that it's growing here in the middle of the woods. And it reminds me of a scripture and a story that's in um, Matthew chapter 13. And it goes like this. It said, a farmer went out to sow a seed. And as he was scattering the seed, some fell on the path and the birds ate it up. Some fell on the rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, but the soil was shallow. And when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, thirty times what was sown. He who has ears, let him hear. Hmm. You know, I grew up on a farm and my dad planted corn every year. But no way would he have wasted seed by throwing it out on the gravel road. No way would he have wasted seed throwing it along the roadside in a bunch of weeds. No way would he have wasted the seed. He would only have put it in the fields that had been prepared, that he could get many, many bushel of corn per acre by harvesting. So when Jesus tells a story about the parable of this, this farmer who goes out and throws seed and he just throws it everywhere, I'm thinking, this guy is not very smart with his seed. When I learned this story as a kid in the Sunday school class, what I learned from that lesson was I want to be the good soil. I want to be the one that when God gives me the, his word and plants it in my heart, it's going to be a huge harvest for him. But then I realized one day that in life, I'm not always the good soil. Sometimes a hard, I'm the hard path. Sometimes I'm in a bunch of thorns and weeds growing up around me. Sometimes I am not the best place to throw the seed. But just like this daffodil, I think in God's grace and mercy, he throws his seed of his word and his love everywhere he can. And every once in a while, an incredible miracle happens. Somebody hears the word that you would never have guessed would hear it. And it buries in their heart and they bloom and grow right where they're planted. If you're that kind of person that felt like Maybe you didn't deserve to hear God's word. Maybe you didn't deserve God's uh, hope and salvation, forgiveness of sin. I want you to know he's throwing the seed your way right now. He loves you. He died on the cross for you. And wherever you are, he wants that word of the Lord to sink deep in your heart and grow that you might have life. springtime to see where God's seed will be planted. <laughs>